Hey everybody, this is Travis Elliott, and welcome to this very special class for my new program, Flow and Stretch. Flow and Stretch is a 60-day program where you get the best of power yoga and yin yoga, and therefore strength and suppleness, power and gentleness, yin and yang, because ultimately, balance is the key to health, wellness, and vitality. If you're interested in participating in this program, I'll drop a link down below. It's available at Inner Dimension TV, where you can get access to my full library of content. What you see here on YouTube is just the tip of the iceberg. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the flow. Have a great practice. All right, welcome to Power Yoga, aim true and stretch. Welcome back to your flow and stretch program. Let's go ahead and get started in child's pose. Now this class is about celebrating purpose or in yoga, what we call Dharma. The Buddha said that your purpose in life is to find your purpose and then to devote your whole heart and soul to it. So let's dedicate this practice to aligning with our purpose, aiming true. And it all starts right here just establishing the foundation to another day on the Flow and Stretch program. Feel your mind settling as you begin to find that breath rhythmically, steadily coming in and out through the nose. Starting to pull the breath all the way down into your belly, your hips, your lower back. This nice, big, rich, abundant, full torso, full body breaths. And allowing your mind and your breath to become fused together. In fact, fusion is another word for yoga. So we get the breath, we get the mind, we get the body, we get everything in alignment on the same page. Beautiful, you guys, from child's pose, go ahead and come all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position, step back to plank pose, upper push-up position. Take an inhale there to shift the weight forward. And then exhale, lower slowly all the way down onto your belly. Release the tops of the feet. Good, now baby cobra on an inhale. So draw the chest up and then bend your feet in towards your hips on the exhale. Now press into the hands, lift the chest up a little bit higher on the inhale as you deepen your backward bend. And then down dog, exhale, release the feet, tuck the toes, draw the hips all the way up and back. Maybe pedal out to the feet a couple of times here, stretch out through those heels, through those calves. And then walk your hands all the way to the back of your yoga mat, all the way back there by your feet, spread the feet out a little bit wide, turn the toes out angle the heels in and then come down into a squat, malasana, yogi squat. Bring your hands up to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Press the palms together, feel the elbows, press the knees gently out. Now interlace all the fingers except your indexes and then aim your indexes straight down towards the ground. Kind of like you're just shooting out down into the earth. Any toxicity, any negativity, the earth can take it as you extract it out of the field of your body, your mind, your being. Beautiful. Now take those arms and bring them upward. Take a good by inhale there. And then stand all the way up on the exhale. Turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Steeple mudra, take an inhale, lift up nice and tall. And then side bend to the right on the exhale. 
Come back up to middle on the inhale. And then other side on the exhale, lean. Back up on the inhale. Over to the right on the exhale, relax into the stretch. Inhale, back up. And then exhale over to the left. Inhale, back to neutral, one more cycle. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, rise. And then exhale over to the left, last time. Good, inhale, come back up. And then forward fold, exhale, lay the chest out over the legs. Crawl your hands forward to the top of the mat, coming back into a down dog, staying heavy in your heels. As you crawl, 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 both hands forward, kind of like a lion crawling through the jungle, stalking its prey. From here, with those fingers spread wide, take an inhale, stretch back, sink in a little bit deep. And then on the exhale, walk your feet all the way forward towards the top in the front of your mat. Flat back on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale, feet together, bend the knees. Squat back, chair pose, take those arms all the way up to the sky. Sitting back into the chair as you wake up those glutes and you wake up the hips and you wake up those lower body muscles. Give it one last goodbye inhale chair pose. And then on the exhale, stand up, W arms, gently lean back, look up, take a couple of breaths there, should feel good. So you're drawing your scapula in towards each other and you're feeling that broadening and that brightening across your chest, your front body. Come back to chair on the inhale, sit back, lift up and reach. And then forward fold, exhale, dive and release. Flat back on the inhale, spine lifts out. Step back to plank pose, go ahead and lower down. And then baby cobra inhale, just like you did at the beginning of the class. Bend your feet in towards your hips on the out breath. Lift up a little bit higher on the inhale, find that apex. And then down dog, exhale, feet down, tuck the toes, lift the hips all the way up and back. And then lift the right leg up, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Chaturanga, inhale, lower halfway. Push up, exhale. Extend the right leg back, inhale, three-legged dog. And then right foot top of the mat, spin the back foot flat, warrior one. Take both arms all the way to the sky. As you take your front right foot and you scoot it a little bit over to the right. Good, and then you take your outer left hip and you turn that forward, so both hips in that neutral rotation. Arms reaching straight up to the sky, give it a big inhale, lift up. And then warrior two on the exhale, left arm back, right arm straight out in front of you as we now prepare for a little bit of yoga archery. So the right thumb's gonna come up to the sky like you're giving somebody a thumbs up. Left hand behind your neck like you're gonna grab an arrow, pull it out, place it on that imaginary string. Draw that arrow back, see that imaginary target, that bullseye, and then let the arrow fly. Reach back, grab a second arrow, place it on the string, and then draw back and feel that good quality tension. Let it fly. Good, grab that last final third arrow. Cock that bow and arrow back as you aim true. Let it fly. This time left arm comes down. Reverse circle all the way back to the revolve warrior. Now like you're pulling back an even bigger bow and arrow. So a lot of times tension, especially in yoga, gets a bad rap. We're always trying to eradicate tension. But the truth is, is that there's good quality tension that can actually generate force, that can generate strength. One definition of Hatha Yoga means to strike with force. Give it a big inhale, stretch back, and then back to warrior two. 
Now, first two fingers, right hand will go straight up. Back first two fingers, left hand will go straight down. And then you'll lean forward, coming into a variation of warrior two. This one has even more determination, even more perseverance, nothing stopping you. And that realization that even the word impossible says, I'm possible. Left arm comes down, reverse circle all the way back to revolve on the inhale. And then vinyasa on the exhale, cartwheel and lower all the way down, out breath. Cobra up dog, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Second side, left leg up, inhale, lift. Left knee, left tricep, connect. Lower halfway, inhale. Push up, exhale. Draw your left leg back, inhale. Flow at top of the mat, exhale, back foot flat. Virabhadrasana one. Both arms all the way up to the sky. This time left foot a little bit over to the left. So you create a little bit of lateral room. Problem is if that foot's not spread out wide enough, then the hips don't have enough space for that outer right hip to turn forward. Give it a big inhale, reach up. And then warrior two, we turn the corner. Get that lower body established and set as we prepare for yoga archery. Now on the other side, flipping that left thumb up, right hand down to the base of the neck. Grab your first arrow, pull back. See that target? Let it fly. Grab that second arrow, draw it back. Feel that moment of tension. Let it fly. Good, last final third arrow. Here we go. Cock it back. See your sights. Let it fly. Right arm comes down, reverse circle. All the way back. Reversing that warrior. And so much of these poses is about one area of the body being an anchor. Right now, that's your left knee and other parts of the body moving away from that anchor, that's your upper body. So you drag your body in opposing directions of energy to reverse the effects of gravity on the body. One more inhale, deepen that, and then back to warrior two. Good, first two fingers go up, back first two fingers go down, like you're a bridge connecting heaven to earth, begin to lean forward as you embrace that fire of purification in that left eye, what we call tapasya. Tapasya is the heat that purifies the body and the mind. So it's a good heat. It's a good fire that we never mind. Now, right arm comes down, reverse circle all the way back to revolve on the inhale. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down on that exhale. Cobra, inhale, chest up. Exhale back, downward facing dog. And you guys probably guessed. And if you guessed that we are gonna turn that to a flow, you guessed correctly. And if you didn't guess that, my question would be, where you been this whole program? We got to flow. It's the flow part. It's the power yoga part before we get onto the ground. So let's move to a nice little aim true yoga archery flow. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot deep, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, open and spread. Right thumb up, grab your arrow. Place it on that imaginary string. Inhale, draw it back. Exhale, let the arrow fly. Inhale, reverse the warrior, come on back. Warrior two variation, driving forward with intent. Back to reverse on the inhale. And then vinyasa, lower all the way down on that exhale. Cobra up dog on the inhale. Down dog, exhale, left leg lifts, inhale. Top of the mat, back foot flat, exhale. Inhale, warrior one, come on up. Exhale, warrior two, left arm up. Right hand grabs that imaginary. Cock that bow and arrow back, inhale. 
Let it fly on the exhale, reverse back. Inhale, warrior two variation, exhale. Come back to reverse on that inhale. And then exhale, vinyasa as you go with the flow. Inhale, chest up, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog. Let's add that chaturanga back in this time. Right leg up, inhale. Right knee, right arm, exhale. You were hoping I'd forget it, huh? Inhale, laugh, halfway lower. Exhale, push up. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, come up. Exhale, warrior two, open and spread. Right thumb up, grab that arrow. Inhale, pull it back. Exhale, let it fly. Inhale, reverse circle back. And then warrior two variation, blaze in the path. Inhale, back to reverse. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower down, elbows in, shaving the ribs. Inhale, arch. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left arm, exhale. Lower halfway, inhale. Push up, exhale. Press left leg back, inhale. Top of the mat, exhale. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Left arm up, grab the arrow. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, let it fly. Inhale, reverse that. Exhale, drive it forward strong. Inhale, come back. And then exhale, vinyasa, lower all the way down, moving with the wind of breath. Inhale, draw the wind deep. Exhale, down dog, one more cycle. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, press back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, vira one. Exhale, vira two, right thumb up. Inhale, draw that arrow back. Exhale, let it fly. Inhale, back to reverse. And then exhale, warrior two, variation for tapasya. Inhale, come back for purpose. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down for dharma. Big inhale, our gift to give the world. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale. Left arm, exhale. Inhale, down. Exhale up strong, inhale back long. Exhale, flow it deep. Inhale, warrior one, rise. Exhale, warrior two, wide. Grab the arrow, inhale, cock it back. Exhale, see it fly. Inhale, come back, reverse. Exhale, warrior two, forward and out. Back to reverse on the inhale. And then vinyasa, chaturanga, dandasana, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, those are done. Exhale, you made it, down dog, big inhale through the nose. And then lion's breath, let it go, ha. Good, crawl your hands to the back of the mat, back by the feet, back to yogi squat, malasana. Come back to that breath. Good. let's come into a little flow here. So inhale, stand up, arms reach up to the sky. And then exhale all the way back down, yogi squat. Two more like that, inhale up. Exhale down for the hips, the knees, the ankles. One more time, inhale. And exhale down. Hold for the inhale, malasana. Hands to the ground, straighten the legs, fold over and down, turn the toes in, feet parallel to each other. Crawl the hands forward to the top of the mat and we'll all meet back and home base, downward facing dog. Good, now from down dog, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up position. Bring the feet together side by side. Spin onto the outer blade of the right foot, stack the left foot on top, side plank, left arm to the sky. Now still breathing deep and free, can you float your left leg up about a foot or so? And then can you come into a flip plank? So bend the left knee, let the left foot fall gently onto the ground behind you. And then just kind of roll over 
with your belly and your chest lifting to the sky and that left arm extending all the way out. Breathe, feel that wonderful backward bend. Now left arm comes back up with control, left leg back around the side plank, take an inhale there, and then left hand down to the ground on the exhale. Take one inhale plank, drop your right knee onto the ground, lift your left leg up, and then extend your right arm straight out in front of you, sunbird spinal balance. Good, now with your left arm strong, start to bend your back left foot in, reach back with your right hand, and grab your left foot for a half bow pose. And similar to poses you've done earlier, start to use the physics of counter resistance to create the bowing effect. So left shin back, heart forward and out, left arm driving like a pillar strong into the ground. Give it one last inhale, half bow, left leg back, right arm straight out in front of you. Big inhale, pull it up, lift it up, set it down, tabletop position. Step back to plank, upper push-up position, as we now set up for the world famous three yogi style push-ups. Here we go, inhale halfway down, chaturanga, exhale push-up. Two more, inhale down, Exhale, drive up. Inhale, one more. Exhale, hardcore. Hold for the inhale, plank. Lower slowly all the way onto the belly. Pause there. Woo! Bend your left foot in. Reach back with your left hand and grab the outside of your left foot or ankle. Extend your right arm straight out in front of you, setting up for belly archer. Now make sure your knees are spread out about the width of the hips, so your left knee's not flaring out too far to the left. Start to pull your left shin back, lift your right leg, lift your chest, lift your right arm, lift everything off the ground except for your belly. Belly archer. More physics of counter resistance to create that bowing effect. This is good quality tension, increasing that good quality yang-like force. One last inhale, full expression. Exhale, lower everything down, and then switch sides. So right foot bends in, right hand reaches back, grabs the outside of the right foot, left arm extends straight out in front of you. Now lift the right thigh and the left leg and the chest and the left arm, belly archer on the other side. And know that these poses are not a statue. These poses are a living, breathing entity. It's like a wave. In each cycle, that wave grows and builds in magnitude and amplifies in energy. And you allow that wave to build. Here comes the crest. Big inhale, find that climax. Exhale, release hands next to ribs. Baby cobra inhale. Bend both feet in on the exhale. Lift up a little bit higher on the inhale. Find that full expression. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Good, now from down dog, lift the right leg up on an inhale. Right knee, right tricep on the exhale. Drop the right knee to the right wrist, inhale. Swing it to your left wrist, exhale. Lift it up to your left tricep, inhale. Swing it to your right tricep, exhale. We call it power box. Right leg back, inhale. Just kind of made it up though. Right foot flows forward, top of the mat. And then pyramid pose. Step the left foot forward slightly. Straighten the right knee, right leg. Make sure your left toes angle forward towards the top left hand corner of the mat. How we doing, you guys? Good. Good, okay. Didn't sound too reassuring, but I'll take your word for it. Front leg straight, hands down low. Inhale, spine up and out. And then fold on top of that right leg. Breathe. Oh. Come back to the breath. Come back to that dimension of stillness within. Good, now flat back on an inhale. 
both hands to the hips on an exhale, leading through your heart. Inhale, come up to standing. Reach your arms all the way up above you. And then bring your hands to reverse prayer or bring your hands into two fists. So your fists could come together or your palms could come together, reverse prayer, whatever works for you and your body. And then with those palms pressing together, start to draw your chest up, begin to lean back to your own degree. This movement is medicine for your back and for your spine. Shoulder blades draw in. Nice big stretch for the wrists, especially if you're in that reverse prayer variation. Beautiful. Now start to lean forward on the inhale. Put a little gradual bend into that right knee. Take flight. Warrior three, reverse prayer without holding the breath. What is it about myself? The moment that I get into a precarious position, I hold my breathing. And I know that that just causes a downward spiral where things begin to deteriorate, where if I could keep my breath full and rich, then that'll give me the support I need to persevere. Keeping the hands as is, go ahead and come all the way up to standing. Bring your left knee into your belly, breathe. Good, balancing on your right foot, right leg, extend your left leg out in front of you all the way out there in midair, flex that left foot. Good, release the arms down and then reach the arms up above you. And how about one last huge inhale, reach up, left foot on the ground, right foot bends in towards the right hip, right hand reaches back and grabs the outside of the right foot. As we now set up for dancer's pose, known as Nataraj Asana. So start to lean forward, draw the right shin back Check this out, take your left palm and rotate it to face down towards the ground as we do a little wrist rotation. You're gonna rotate the left palm up on an inhale and then turn the left palm down, exhale. Two more like that, inhale, rotate up and then exhale, rotate down. One more time, inhale and then exhale. Now hold there, find your full expression Dancer's pose, inhale. Come back up to mountain pose on the exhale. Right foot down, hands to prayer. Moving on, circle those arms up to the sky, inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Flat back on the inhale. And then vinyasa, chaturanga dandasana, exhale. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog. All right, and let's do this. Let's come forward to plank on an inhale. And then lower down, exhale. Big inhale, Cobra. And then exhale back to Downward Facing Dog. Exhale. All right, you guys, now let's float through that same series on the other side. So come forward to plank pose, upper push-up position. Bring the feet together, rotate onto the outer edge of the left foot, stack the right foot on top, lean into the left hand, and reach that right arm all the way up to the sky. Now start to lift that right leg up about a foot or so, and then flip plank. So you're gonna bend the right knee, right foot onto the floor behind you, Turn your navel, turn your chest up to the sky as you come into a little arm balance. Fuse with a little bit of a backward bend. Feel that wave starting to climax. One last inhale there. Right arm back up, right leg back around. Take a good by inhale side plank and then right hand down to the floor. One inhale there, drop the left knee down. Lift the right leg up and then extend that left arm straight out in front of you as if you're about to shake a friend's hand. Good, bend the back right foot in, reach back and grab that right foot with your left hand, half bow pose, Ardha Dhanurasana. Pull that shin back with just the right amount of force, complemented with just the right amount of gentleness. Can you feel that harmony? 
that balance between the yin and the yang. One last inhale, half bow. Right leg back, left arm straight out in front. Big inhale, pull out, lift up. Exhale, tabletop pose, set it down. Step back to plank pose, upper push-up position. Three more yogi style push-ups. Inhale down, halfway hover. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, you got these. Exhale, press, now hold plank. Exhale, lower down, slow. Cobra, inhale, chest up, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog, good. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. Left wrist, inhale. Right wrist, exhale. Right tricep, inhale. Left arm, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot, top of the mat, exhale. Pyramid pose. Step that back foot forward a little bit. Straighten that front leg. Oh, inhale, draw the torso out. And then exhale, melt, melt into the pose. Oh. So we're almost at the summit of our power portion of this class. You can see the top, you'll be there shortly. And then it's all downhill from there because what goes up must come down. So let's finish this one by coming into a flat back on the inhale, hands to the waist on the exhale. Come all the way up to standing, both arms above you on the inhale. Reverse prayer on the exhale. Either palms come together or hands like a double fist bump and then start to lean back, draw your chest up. But even as you lean back, keep your chin slightly down so your neck stays long. And that backward bend is right there in the thoracic part of the spine. Elbows drawing in towards the midline. One last inhale there. And then start to lean forward, start bending that front left knee and then take flight. Warrior three, reverse prayer. Now look, warrior three is already challenging when you just do it the normal way, but with the hands tied behind the back makes it even more so. But the greater the challenge, the greater the opportunity for focus and concentration, which is the doorway into meditation. Now slowly come all the way up to standing. Keep the hands as is, right knee into the belly and then extend the right leg straight out in front of you as you give that front foot a little flex. Both arms come down, should feel good to release. And then both arms all the way up to the sky. One more big inhale, lift that right leg up, feel the little burn. Right foot on the ground, left heel bends in towards the left hip, left hand reaches down, grabs the outer left foot. Right arm still up in the air. When you're ready, start to lean forward and out. Dancer's pose on the other side. Like a seesaw with your right leg. Not too far forward, not too much back, but just right. Rotate the right palm down for a moment. And then we explore the hand rotation. Inhale, right palm up. Exhale, right palm down. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, turn it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, hold there, traditional style. One last inhale. Slowly stand up, hands to prayer. Left foot on the ground. <laughs> Woo, upward salute, inhale. Not always pretty, but we get the job done. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back on the inhale. Step back to plank, pause there. Drop the elbows to the ground, forearm plank position. And before we come into our yin portion, we're gonna do Kapalabhati, skull shining breaths out through the nose. So start to pump that air out through the nose. 
for about 30 seconds. This is it. Forearm plank, you got an asana posture. Kapalabhati pranayama, technically it's a kriya. But you're mixing that with the asana and this becomes a little bit of alchemy when you combine the pose with some deep, strong breath work. Last 15 seconds. You're on the home stretch for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big inhale through the nose. Release the belly down. Sphinx pose. Exhale. Woo! And here's your dessert at the end of that long meal. Sphinx pose is the beginning and to our yin series. Gentle press into the elbows as you encourage and entice your heart to travel forward through the gateways of your shoulders. And if it feels right, perhaps even closing the eyes, starting to bring the awareness inward. Yang is outward, yin is inward. A little bit like going from fifth gear to fourth gear to third gear to second to first to neutral. And then by the end, just switching that engine completely off. But right now, maybe just a nice, sweet little idle, that beautiful purr of the engine. Some of you may want to stay here in Sphinx. Some of you may want to go deeper into seal pose. If so, hands slide forward a little bit. They open out a little bit wider and then you press down into the hands, almost like a soft, soft upward facing dog. And we'll take another minute and a half or two here. Take a last few breaths there. Beautiful, one last inhale. Slowly float and release the elbows, forearms down to the ground, slide the hands back by the ribs and then make your way back to child's pose. So gently press the hips all the way back as you move from that backward bend, spinal extension, into a sweet forward bend, spinal flexion. And ultimately in yoga, moving that spine in all the directions that it was meant to be moved in.
Pablo Picasso said that the purpose of life is to find your gift and the meaning of life is to give it away. So as we move through this great journey of life, it's always a blessing when we discover that purpose, our highest purpose, not a purpose that somebody else gave us, not a purpose that society told us to do, but a purpose that rings true deep within our own hearts. It's a good feeling. But then it gets even better when we begin to share it, to give it away, to help others, to uplift, to inspire. That body sweetly fatigued and that mind in that state of clarity, emptiness, spaciousness. Go ahead and rise back up to tabletop pose, all fours. Crawl the knees forward a little bit, cross the feet behind you, release onto the sit bones. And this next one's one of my favorite, favorite yin poses. We call it the seated diamond pose. So bring the soles of the feet together, slide the feet away from the body. So different than butterflies to so the lower body here is shaped like a diamond. Then hands reach down and grab the ankles, slide the fingers underneath the bottom sides of the ankles as Michael is showing here. And then on the inhale, pull the spine up and out and then fold over and down. And seated diamond's a great one for getting into this band of tissue that runs from the outer hip all the way down towards the outer knee. Michael's doing it right over here. He's got his block. Put it out underneath the forehead. Or if you're at home, maybe you get some pillows and a, a block and you create a little tower if your head doesn't come down as low and you make it work for you and your body. That's the great thing about these props is that there's unlimited options as to how you can set it up.
Beautiful, you guys. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up. Bring your hands to the outer knees. Close the knees like you're closing a big book. And then extend your legs straight out in front of you along your mat. Reach those arms all the way up above on the inhale. Caterpillar pose on the exhale. Fold all the way over and down. Hands grabbing whatever feels right. Feet, ankles, strap. And in one pose, one stroke, allowing the band of tissue across the whole posterior side of the body from the heels all the way to the brain stem to get that deep touch. Slowly begin to roll yourself back up, taking your time, no hurries, no worries. Release down onto your back as you're ready, recline. Hug your knees and thighs into your belly. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg forward, open your right arm out to the right are your right knee over to the left side to a twist you could stay here or you could come into cat pulling its tail pose where you bend the left foot in and reach down with your right hand and grab onto that left foot give that right thigh a sweet release in addition to the lower back and the lower spine Yoga is the body. Yoga is the mind. Yoga is the heart. Yoga is the soul. And yoga is life. Eventually we reach a point within our practice where we realize that our practice in life are not two separate rivers, but they converge into one river stream. And that there really is no separation. 
So we get onto our mat to strengthen the qualities that are important to us. And then we bring that with us into our relationships, our careers, and everything else that we do within our lives. Knowing that yoga is so much more than just physical yoga postures. If you have your tail, release that left leg. Bring the right knee all the way back up. Draw both knees, both thighs back into the belly. And then extend the right leg out. Open the left arm out to the left and then guide the left knee over to the right. And then if you'd like to come into cat pulling its tail, feel free to reach down, grab that foot. You have that tail, go ahead and release. The right knee, right leg, left knee all the way back up to neutral. Bend both knees into the belly, into the torso. And then on a big inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees. Give the body one last big squeeze. You made it. Shavasana on the exhale, release. And relax down onto your back. Take one last scan through the whole field, the whole terrain of the body and just make sure there's not a place right now where you're gripping or holding on, clenching or squeezing. Just a full release and a full letting go. Shavasana.
Deeper inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Reach your arms up over your head, interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out, bring the legs together. And as you stretch back to the arms, stretch forward through your feet, through your toes. Reach forward, grab the shins, hug the knees, the thighs into the belly. And then gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final comfortable seated position. Both hands to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart, giving gratitude to the same true practice for bringing you back to purpose, back to Dharma. May this program continue to guide us down the path of balance, equanimity, and wholeness. Namaste. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. Keep showing up, keep pressing play, and we will be here each and every day for 60 days until the end. That's it for this one. See you next time. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that special practice. Drop a comment down below and let me know where you're joining from. And remember, if you want to indulge in the full entire 60-day flow and stretch program, join our 10-day free trial at Inner Dimension TV. Hope to see you soon.